Good evening, and welcome to the very first Film Noir Friday. It is my pleasure to talk about this film for multiple reasons. The first one that I am going to be reviewing is The Maltese Falcon. Now, one of the reasons why I love this film is because the leading role is none other than my favorite actor forever and always, Humphrey Bogart. I have a special place in my heart for Humphrey Bogart. Uh, someone please put that on a shirt. I need it. Uh, anyway, so it also has Mary Astor and Peter Lorre, just to name a few of the stars in this film. Um, it also has my favorite actor playing my favorite detective of all time, Sam Spade. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with Sam Spade, he was a character on an old radio show that took place uh, starting in the 1930s or 40s, I believe, maybe even before that, um, before there was TV, you know, the old radio shows that I absolutely love. And you can find those here on the YouTube channel. Believe it or not, there is a YouTube channel that will have all of the Sam Spade uh, radio broadcasts on it. And I've listened to every single one. I love the Sam Spade character. But let's move forward. So let's talk about the movie. Let's get into the Maltese Falcon because I have a lot to say about this film. It came out in 1941. And it's based on the 1931 novel of the same name by Dichelle Hammett. It stars Humphrey Bogart as private investigator Sam Spade, Mary Astor as his femme fatale uh, client, and as villains, Peter Lore and Sidney Greenstreet. Now, Peter Lore is another actor that I absolutely adore. I've seen many Peter Lore films. Something about him, I just... Every time I see him come on screen or hear his voice, I have to smile. Uh, so here's the plot. Sam Spade deals with three crooked... Uh, three crooked... Adventurers all seeking a jewel-encrusted falcon statue. Note. This was John Huston's direct, directorial debut. Uh, there was a radio show called Adventures of Sam Spade that I also just mentioned that ran from 1946 to 1951. The Maltese Falcon was also played out on the radio show. There, There is a Sam Spade episode of the Maltese Falcon. And actually, I listened to the radio show uh, before I watched the movie. Um, and I loved the radio show. And so I was like, oh, I have to see this movie now. And I thought... I had seen every Humphrey movie that there was. And then I found out that he played Sam Spade. And I'm, I was like, oh my God, I have to see this film. And now I have the DVD of this film and I watch it a lot because I love Humphrey Bogart. Uh, okay, so here's my opinions on this film. I love the big players in this film. Bogey, Mary Astor, and Peter Lore. In my opinion... One, if not the best bogey film. Acting by all is superb. It leaves you guessing until the end. I love the bits of comedy that are thrown in. Good action scenes and fight scenes. Several plot twists. A surprise ending. This is also one of my favorite Peter Lorre films. You'll see a lot more of Peter and Bogey in a lot of film noir films. Mary Astor has more of seen but not heard role in this film, meaning she's on screen a lot but doesn't speak much in this film. This one has a lot of action but not much mystery. My favorite quote from the movie is from Sam Spade. Quote, We didn't exactly believe your story, Miss Wonderly. We believed your two hundred dollars. Unquote. Miss Wonderly is uh, played by Mary Astor, by the way. If you didn't figure that out, which I'm sure you did. All right. So, like I said, um, this is my favorite film noir movie, hands down. Now you can watch this movie if it's still available on Turner Classic Music. 
uh, music, movies, pardon me, uh, and on Tubi. Now, Turner Classic, um, you will hear me mention that channel a lot. It's one of my favorite channels. I watch it constantly because I love old Hollywood, if you haven't guessed. And by old Hollywood, I mean pre-1970s Hollywood, okay? I love it. Um, Turner Classic, they uh, switch out their movies a lot um, on the app, uh, which if you have a Roku TV, you can download it um, and, and watch it there, the app there. Um, Tubi, Oh my goodness, Tubi. If you go on, download Tubi, if you have a Roku TV and you download Tubi, T-U-B-I, um, and you put in the search engine Film Noir, it has a huge collection of Film Noir movies for you to watch. And we're talking from all movie genres. Um, I, I should say year genres. Um, and the Maltese Falcon is is there. Um, I checked. Uh, but I have the DVD so I just rewatched the DVD. I hadn't watched it in a while, so I needed to see some Humphrey, and I got it. Um, this movie is absolutely superb. If you have never seen it before, I hope you you get to watch it and you enjoy it, and you will enjoy it, I promise you. Uh, especially if you're a fan of Bogey or Peter or even Mary Astor. If you're not familiar with Mary Astor, Mary Astor was one of the very first female actresses, um, and her career started on the silent screen. Um, she is phenomenal in all her films. I've never seen a Mary Astor film that I did not like her in. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Peter Lorre, you should be. Uh, Peter Lorre has done all sorts of films from film noir to horror to comedy. I have seen him in so many different types of films. M such a talented actor. Um, and he has even been on a lot of radio shows as well. He uh, is on a lot of the Sam Spade radio shows. Um, and also the Inner Sanctum radio shows, which is another one of my all-time favorite radio shows. Once again, there is a YouTube channel uh, that has all of the old Inner Sanctum radio shows. I highly recommend it. You just pop that into the search engine and boom, it's there. Um, absolutely wonderful. Highly recommend. Um, okay, so that is going to do it for the very first Film Noir Friday Please stay tuned next week, and I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I am so excited to be bringing this to you. I am so excited that I get to uh, watch film noir again, and even some films that I've never even seen before, and be able to bring it to you so that you can enjoy them as well. Thank you so much, and please join me again next Friday at 8 p.m., there will be a new review and I hope a new movie for you to watch and review as well. Now, please remember to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, one more thing, leave a comment down in the comment section below if you have ever seen the Maltese Falcon or if you want to see the Maltese Falcon. Also, you can leave a um, name of a film noir movie you wish for me to review and I will watch it and review it. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. This is Miss Lottie Doll saying good evening and ta-ta for now.